Okay, let me try this again. I've tried recording this video twice now, and I keep having, I keep running into uh, technological issues. But anyway, what I want to do in this video is walk you through how to fill out a quiz. Uh, most of you are doing this just fine, but there are a couple of you who are kind of struggling to figure out what it is that I want you to do. So let me just show you. If I wanted to do quiz 1.1 through 1.2, then I would click on that assignment. And then I would click on the PDF that I have attached on that assignment. And I'm using Chrome. That's the browser, the web browser that I'm using. Uh, so if you're using a different web browser like Firefox or Safari or something, then you'll have to figure out how those browsers work. Um, otherwise, just download Chrome and use Chrome as your browser and then you can follow along with what I'm doing. So I click on the quiz, it downloads. Now I can click on this thing and then I can print it, right? So I can print it. Uh, once you've printed it, then you can write on it with ink or with a pencil and then you can uh, upload it or, or then you can scan it back into your device and then, and then you can upload that document. You, you go to the submit assignment button and then you can upload the document. If you don't have a printer, um, I said in the syllabus that you, you are gonna either need a printer or you are gonna need a tablet so that you could write on stuff electronically. Um, so if you, if you don't have a printer but you have a tablet, then that's fine. It, with your tablet, you should be able to open up this document and then with your uh, finger or with your uh, stylus pen, you should be able to write directly on the PDF and then you can save the PDF and upload that. Uh, to Canvas. If you don't have either of those things, so if you don't have a printer and you don't have a tablet, well, uh, you're going to have to figure something out. Um, so one of the um, um, so one thing that you could do is uh, you could download this quiz uh, onto your desktop or something, right? So I'm going to do that. And then you can see when I do that, and then I've got, oh, I've, some, I've actually downloaded it several times, but you can see that I've got this quiz now on my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search uh, free PDF editor. And uh, PDF escape is a pretty good one that I've used. So you can click on that one and then use the free online version. Then you're gonna upload a PDF, choose file, find the file that you wanna upload. This may have been one I've already written on it. I don't remember. Okay, good, so, so I haven't written on it. Um, so now you can write on this thing, right? So you have a bunch of options, you can write text, and I can click on this space and write my name. Um, I can freehand some stuff. So if I want to circle answers, this is not the correct answer, by the way, but, <laughs> but I can circle stuff. If I don't like the way my circle looks, I can undo it, right? Um, and I can draw a histogram if I need to. But, um, but the other thing that you could do uh, is you can insert an image. So if I want to insert an image, for example, I can say add image, choose file. So, so imagine, right? So imagine for this particular problem, you're supposed to draw a histogram. So imagine that you had done it in StatCrunch and then you downloaded that image onto your desktop. Well, so then you could just upload the image directly from StatCrunch into this space, right? By just clicking on add image and then choose file. And I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Hopefully nothing inappropriate. Uh, but I'm gonna, uh, and there you go. And, and well, let me do this again, right? So I'm gonna go to image, choose file, and choose the same one. And then wherever I click, that's where the image is gonna show up, right? So, so I must have printed this off for my kids to color or something at some point, but 
Um, so imagine that this was a histogram instead because you had downloaded your histogram that you made on StatCrunch, right? And there you go, right? That's how you would, that's how you would fill this thing out using PDF Escape. Um, to download this now, you click on these little green arrows, so you download, and then up it comes, and now it's saved all of your annotations that you made. Um, that's just one option. There are lots of different ways that you could write on a PDF. I will say that, you know, it, it honestly, it doesn't work super great. <laughs> um, like, I mean, for what we did, it, it was fine. But let's say that you wanted to write these really complicated math symbols. It's like not easy to freehand it, right? It's not easy to, to get a nice looking picture freehanding it on your computer, which is why I said, you know, you're going to need either a printer or, uh, or a tablet. But if all else fails, uh, you're welcome to do this. The other thing you could do, um, let me say this. So the other thing you could do is you could do all of the work on a separate sheet of paper, and then you could take pictures of your work uh, and then insert those pictures in the appropriate spaces. Okay. So that's another way that you could handle it so that you're able to actually, you know, just do the work by hand. Like I said, do the work by hand, take pictures of it, and then just upload the pictures and put them in their appropriate spot. Um, so that's another, that's another thing you could do if you don't have a, a printer or a tablet. Um, but this is what I want you to submit. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, I have about 80 students this summer uh, and um, so that means I have 80 quizzes to create every day. So if you're doing something like posting a link to a separate file instead of actually posting the image itself, then that means I have to go out of SpeedGrader to download that file that you linked to. Um, and it's a very long process for me. So, um, so I need you to work with me on this and just submit your answers on the document itself either by printing it and then scanning or by filling it out electronically with a tablet or if all else fails by using some kind of free PDF editor like this to do it. Okay. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. I hope that that helps. Uh, if you are still struggling, then please reach out to me. I'll set up a zoom meeting with you and try to walk you through some options for submitting your work.